Um, I watched this uh, in the Sky Sports News newsroom full of journalists who are also um, football fans for the most part and no one had any appetite uh, for football. There was a stunned silence as there was uh, more particularly around the stadium in Copenhagen. Uh, we saw, as we're showing you on the screen now, the Denmark players forming a wall around their stricken teammate to give him some privacy as he received emergency treatment on the pitch. He collapsed without anybody challenging him. The ball was being played towards him from a throw-in and uh, down he went. And it was an exceptionally worrying quarter hour or so. Uh, then around about half an hour or so ago, we saw, started to see an image being released which appeared to show Ericsson's eyes open and him partially sitting up as he was taken from the pitch. But there was still uh, some concern uh, about uh, how we should treat that picture. But as you say, uh, there has been since then uh, a statement from UEFA and another one from the, the Danish Football Union, uh, the latter saying Ericsson is awake and is awaiting further examination in hospital. The match temporarily postponed, they said. Uh, UEFA promised a further update, that's the European football governing body, at quarter to seven hour time. That hasn't happened as yet. So, uh, Nick, as you say, some reason for optimism because there's no doubt that everybody in that stadium and around the football world was fearing the worst. A lot of messages of support on Twitter, including from the English FA, who said our thoughts this evening are with Christian Eriksen and his family and all connected with the Danish Football Union. The FA, by the way, cancelled the news conference they were due to hold with the manager, Gareth Southgate, and the captain, Harry Kane, ahead of England's scheduled opening match at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at Wembley against Croatia. That news conference was clearly going to be inappropriate uh, and was cancelled. The Welsh FA, Wales had a game this afternoon themselves uh, in the tournament. They said... Uh, we are praying for Christian Eriksen and his family. And there was a similar message in the last 10 minutes from the Scottish FA as well. Eriksen has uh, a girlfriend, Sabrina Quist, and two young children. She's a hairdresser. They spend a lot of time in London together. He was seven years at Tottenham Hotspur, now plays for Inter Milan. He is the focus of the football world this evening. And everybody just hoping that the more optimistic signs that we've seen uh, in the last half hour lead to uh, recovery for Christian Eriksen.